What up everybody, it's Wobots Tay up in this mode and uh, hope you all enjoyed the how to paint a doom wheel still recovering from that giant Skaven war machine video but um, thought I'd do a simple really quick video today on how to convert up your own dwarf hammerers for those of you who don't want to pay huge amounts of money to get a unit of these and would rather have um, this simple conversion I'm going to show you how I do them so this is what the finished product is going to look like before painting so now I'm going to show you what you need. First of all, you need your dwarf bodies. Of course you need the back part of their bodies. And then the two that I enjoy using are these guys with the winged helmets because they just look so much more like champions and more like veterans. Their beards are long and detailed and um, braided and just the winged helmet really makes them stand out from the rest of the dwarf. So I, I like to use them. And you're also going to have uh, face masks the ones that come on the Dwarf Warrior Blister. These are optional, but I feel like having them on uh, the front of the Dwarf Helmets really adds to the, uh, you know, adds to the effect that they're, they're veterans and that they're all blinged up. So here's my second guy that I like to use for my conversion because he's got a helmet with horns, just looks a little bit more ornate, and um, he's got a mask. So the reason that we're using these two is because you'll notice that this Dwarf body has a left arm this one doesn't. This one has neither arm, so when you glue them together, they're going to look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the bodies right now and the face masks, and then we'll show you what those look like and what you're going to need um, weapon-wise in the next step. So now our guys look something like this. They just don't have their arms and their weapons, so we're going to give them some. For the model with um, one arm, we're gonna get this axe piece, this double-handed axe piece. So you see it's art, it's got both hands. And um, the only thing is we gotta change the head from an axe to a hammer. So we are going to use this. There are two types of hammers in the Dwarf Warrior box set. You've got this kind of anvil looking hammer and you've got this more traditional square looking hammerhead, rectangle looking hammerhead. Um, so we're gonna use both of these for the this conversion but um, you'll notice that they're only for one-handed hammers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop it and um, chop it at the hammer head and we're gonna chop this axe head off and then we are going to glue the hammer to the axe head. We're gonna do the same thing with this arm. This is for the, um, the dwarf with the, the winged helmet, the one that doesn't have either arm. So for his left arm, we're gonna use a standard shield arm. You'll find a, a left arm in the dwarf warrior box set. And then we use this right one where he's holding his axe, his two-handed axe, up high. We're just going to chop off the axe head and then we're going to add this axe, or this hammer head to the top of the axe. And that's going to be our conversions. So I'll show you what those look like and then um, I'm going to glue them on and we'll show you the finished product in the last part of this video. Okay, this is how your two-handed hammer should look. And like I said, you've got your spare arm, your left arm for the, the guy with the winged helmet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them on, clean up the mold lines, and we will show you the finished product when we get back. And there you have it, the finished dwarf hammer conversion. Really simple, really easy to do, and um, when you give them a nice suitable, you know, posing, then a uh, uh, pose, position, for them to be in, then it, it makes them look really, really strong and really, uh, <clears throat> really distinct on the battlefield. So that's how I make my two-handed hammers, and uh, hope you enjoy it. And um, if you haven't guessed yet, I've I picked up uh, another box of warriors to add a couple more hammers and double-handed weapons to my units, fill them out a little bit, and. Uh, just wait for my plastic berserkers to arrive so I can continue doing this dwarf project but I've got other things lined up coming up um, to get away from the dwarves so hope you stay tuned for all of that I'm planning on doing a war boss tutorial on how to paint Astro Claw Space Marines and um, another one I think it was um, Mantis Warriors I can't remember um, it, it's another chapter that fought in the Badab War, so stay tuned for that. Those look like they're gonna be a lot of fun, and just for those of you who don't care for dwarves and sat through this video all the way through, here's a little treat for you. Savage Orc Boar Boy!